future. Going back to Curse, uh, the car is designed uh, to use Curse. However, the team has decided to start without Curse and uh, throughout the season, once we have more time to test and to be in Europe, uh, we will make the decision to see whether we adapt it, we adopt it or not. But the important thing is that the car is design, designed around. Those are applying to improve. Is there just one piece of information that you look at first? Yes, speed, so that you have uh, an idea of what's going on in the car. Pedro, what do you think about it? I don't know any fast driver who respects the curbs. That's the first rule when you're in karting is that anything which can be clipped, if you can go straight when there's a corner, you will do that until the race uh, director uh, complains about it. That's the first rule of any driver. And the second one is I love, uh, uh, I love uh, tarmac uh, runoff areas because they're much safer. Uh, the GPA, uh, the drivers have been pushing for that. Uh, the teams have helped, it, help, have, have helped us. So let's not go back to grass or to these uh, gravel, gravel areas. And in terms of safety, we need to think about penalizing probably um, drivers who go straight in a chicane and uh, there's only tarmac because if you've made a mistake, you need to uh, get a penalty in terms of an 8, which is V8. And what can I say? Uh, well, uh, nothing can match a V12, neither in terms of sound, uh, the type of uh, power delivery. That's well, the sublime engine. That's the the best uh, engine, but it's very inefficient in terms of else. I think we need to give opportunities to all drivers, not only young drivers, because what's not normal is that Dauma Algersuari, and with 21. He, who's 21, uh, is not a young driver anymore. I think that we need to be a little bit more open-minded. Formula One drivers, do they, can't they find a way back? I think we need to analyze the issue and to give more kilometers to all of them, uh, not only in the simulator. And we need to think about this. Young drivers, maybe not that young, but they need to have a role as third. We think that they are trying to solve it, but uh, I think that's a no-no. Uh, thinking that it's better not to come out on track to have uh, fresh tires. It will be different uh, this season because last year there was a high degradation of the tires, but what Pirelli has done has been to, to bring all these compounds uh, closer to make them more similar, but the super soft is going to be the same. But it's very bad, I think, both for TV spectators and for spectators there when they are empty periods when no one is on track and especially in on some cases uh, we only six cars were on uh, track in Q3 that needs to be we have everyone have I have physio and I have uh, the person here always with me and sometimes when it's tough we can't we are working I don't want to tell you exactly what we are doing but yes definitely we have because Formula One is not easy sports in the world also, you know, in other Olympic Games, every person, sports person, have psychological guys who can help you, can, you know, push you on the right direction, what you should do. And qualifying is also, and Formula 1 is also tough, even in qualifying when you need to be clear on your mind and focus 100% on the race track. So these guys always can help you. Test, but that doesn't mean that we are leaving any teams behind. Uh, we are a very humble team. We need to improve day by day. Uh, it takes hard time. It's been a really hard winter. Our car is not ready yet, and we'll see if we can manage to, to test in Barcelona, hopefully on the final day, or as Pedro said before, maybe on Monday. Um, but I do think we should look forward to a good year. None of us can be really sure sitting here. Um, quite who's quickest or, or who's carrying what, not least of which because a lot of the teams will be bringing big upgrade packages to this, this next test. Um, we've seen one or two teams trying to shuffle the team a day later. <laughs> the one thing all of us would like is one more week, I assure you of that. Um, but I think with the number of world championship drivers that we have and the competitive pace we've seen uh, from a number of cars so far, I think the one thing we can look forward to is, is a first quarter that's going to be really exciting. So the racing should be really good for the first, first half of this year. Well, of course, we, we have to see. We do not know by now. We, we have had quite a good start. 
Wolf Hour car, but you never know where the competition is until uh, the first race. You need to wait. We have a couple of more days of testing here in Barcelona. And uh, as Jonathan rightly pointed out, uh, Barcelona is a fantastic track to learn. Um, very challenging for the car, challenging for the driver. So you really can learn. It is, a, it is an ideal test track, that's for sure. But where you really are, uh, you, you, do not, you do not know. Um, we, have, we, have, we have been forced two times as a young team, and we have three very strong competitors ahead of us. They have six cars, as you know, so you need to go to jump into the, these six cars on a regular basis is quite, is quite uh, a tough job to do, but ultimately we, we want uh, to, uh, to be successful in that respect, and uh, hopefully we can make a first step in this year.